Let us master strategies to solve quadratic and rational equations with the help of this example. Also understand the alternate method where we are going to solve this question in just few seconds. Enjoy the journey of learning with Anil Kumar. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We have been teaching for last 15 years and with 17,000 plus videos on YouTube, we have an excellent resource for the students globally. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent comments and suggestions. Based on your suggestions, here are a few very important questions for SAT practice test. In the playlist, you'll find many of these. Try to do at least three of each topic to master that particular topic. Now here we have taken an example on rational numbers. The question here is, sum of the number n and its reciprocal is 15 over 6. Find the possible value of 5 times this number n. And we are given four choices. It is important to understand the question before even answering it. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email to at to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. I'll actually discuss with you two different strategies. Strategy number one is the standard practice and strategy number two is tips where you could actually solve this question in less than a minute. So it makes a huge difference when you are participating in a competition or you are working for an examination to qualify as being the top. Well, as the question says, it says sum of a number n and its reciprocal means n plus 1 over n is 15 over 6. Correct. So that is the equation from this particular part of the sentence. Now, you want to find the possible value of 5 times n. So you need to find what is 5 times n equals to. Not just the value of n, right? So that is clear. Otherwise, you get a wrong answer. So strategy 1 is we have an equation. We can make it into a quadratic equation solve for n, right? So I can multiply all the terms by 6n. And so I get here. Uh, let me do that. 6n square plus 6 equals to 15n. Makes sense. So we have multiplied each and every term by the common denominator, which is 6n. So now you can bring them together. 6n square minus 15n plus 6 equals to 0. Now that is the quadratic equation to be solved. You can use quadratic formula or factor it. So as you can see in this equation, uh, 3 is common. So let's take 3 common, right? So we get 2n square minus 5n plus 2 equals to 0, right? Now we need to factor 2n square minus 5n plus 2. Use any of the strategies known to you. We go with product and sums. We are looking for two numbers whose product is 2 times 2, 4 right and whose sum is minus 5 so clearly the numbers are minus 4 and 1 right so we get the two numbers which are minus 4 and minus 1 correct so when you add them you get minus 5 so we can now rewrite this as 2n square minus 4n minus n plus 2 equals to 0 now factor out 2n is common in the first two terms, we get n minus 2, minus is common here, n minus 2, right, equals to 0. Now, we have the factored form, so it's easy to write down the equation, so we can now write 3 times, so n minus 2 is common. In both the terms, we get 2n minus 1, 
equals to 0. That gives you the value of n either equal to 2 or n is equal to half. Correct? So, these are the two values. You can see they are reciprocal of one another also. right? Makes sense. Correct? So, now what should be the answer? The answer is 5 times n. right? So, what is 5 times n? So, 5 times n either is 10 or is 5 by 2. You see that. So, either one of these two, amongst the options given, we are given 5 by 2. And therefore, option B is the right option. Makes sense, right? So, we did take about uh, two minutes to solve this question, but that was a standard way of doing it. Now, I hope it is absolutely clear, right? So, let's move forward and also see what could be the alternate way of doing this. Well, if you like my approach, you can always you know, like and subscribe to our videos. Also, in case you want to learn directly from us, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are right there on the top. Perfect. Now, see, we are looking into something like the same question, right? So, we want n plus 1 over n equals to 15 over 6. Now, when you are working with rational numbers, at this level, you should be actually good at understanding the rational numbers in a very different way also. 15 over 6, we could actually write it as sum of two numbers or first we can simplify it, right? So, dividing by 3 gives us 5 by 2. Is that okay? So, when you divide by 2, you get 5 by 2, correct? And now 5 can be written as 4 plus 1 and see here what happens, right? So, we get 4 over 2 plus half, which is indeed 2 plus half. You see that. So, we get our answer directly, correct? 2 or half. So, n could be either one of these values, right? Reciprocal of half is also 2. It makes sense, correct? And we need to find the answer of 5 times this number and we get this answer directly. And this is in few seconds. Now, when time is very critical, which is always the case, in SAT practice test questions so that you have enough time to answer the last five questions, you get the whole idea. You have to move in a very systematic way and fast enough to, you know, leave some time for thinking at the end, you get the idea, perfect. So I hope you understand and appreciate our approach. Join us if you really want to be amongst the top. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And those of you who want to actually support us, support quality education worldwide. There are more than 80 countries where these are being washed. Then contact us to, you know, donate or contribute in some way or the other. Thanks for your time and all the best. A request from Anil Kumar. Feel free to support our channel whenever possible. Thank you and all the best.